Hello to my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Flora Sky. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time, we made our way here to Mystic Town, and in today's episode, we're going to explore Mystic Town just a little bit. There are a couple things that I want to do. We also added three new Pokemon to our team, so I'll go ahead and show you guys the level ups. I went ahead and trained Rush, Toad, and Yellow all to level 15. They've also gone ahead and learned a couple moves that are going to help us out. So we're going to have Bite and Ember on Rush. That's going to be great. We have Metal Claw and Primplup. You guys already know that Mako is going to be really, really strong. We have Absorb, Stun Spore, Tackle, pretty much the same stuff on Toad. And then we have Spark on Yellow. So we'll be training them up as we go. But at least for now, I think these are going to be good enough levels for our Pokemon to be strong and to be able to battle against anyone that comes up. So we're going to go ahead and make our way back through this cave. This cave seems very, very similar. Seems very reminiscent or something. So let's go ahead and make our way through because there is an item that I want to pick up. So I did explore a little bit and these are things that I did want to make sure we get. So with that, we got ourselves TM17 Protect. And that is actually going to be a pretty good move. We could put that on any of our Pokemon and that could definitely help them out. Hope you guys are having a good day. I've been having a really good Thursday. It's funny, it started off raining here today in the game and it seems like it was raining outside and it's been like that all day. This town, Mystic Town, it seems to have rain on and off and that's kind of how the weather's been around my place. It's just been on and off and you do not know when it's coming, but when it does, it's really nice. Right now, it's actually rumbling out, which is funny. So now that we've gone ahead and obtained that item, we're gonna go ahead and make our way inside of this house. I'm also looking for a couple more things and with that, we are going to talk to this guy, and he is going to give us a charcoal. So now that we have a fire type, I'm telling you guys, how awesome is that going to be? We can just go ahead and give our rush the charcoal. Another thing that you guys mentioned to me, by the way, in the comments. Once again, thank you guys so much for all the comments that you guys leave me. Make sure you guys go ahead and give this video a like, as it's much appreciated as well. You guys left me in the comments that rush, the Growlithe, is also reminiscent of Rush from Mega Man, the dog. So I thought that was really, really cool, and it made a lot of sense, I gotta tell you guys. So now that we've gone ahead and obtained the charcoal, we're gonna go ahead and continue making our way back to small town. So it's gonna take a little while, and I'll just go ahead and meet you guys once I make it back there. So with that, guys, I am just about back. So we're gonna go ahead and just make our way back through these caves. It actually takes quite a while to make your way back. Now, I know that there's some sort of teleporting system in the game, but it hasn't been available to us yet. So hopefully it will be very soon that we won't have to be running around all of these places. Okay, so now that we're back in small town, let's go ahead and see if we can figure out where exactly it is we need to go. I know that we could head towards another area in this game and it looks like we're gonna have a battle so very cool we're just gonna go ahead and make our way out of this place then it wasn't available to us before but it looks like it is available to us now our team is really really strong as well i feel like we have a very very solid team we have a fire type grass type water type what else can I ask for? This is such a solid start, and we have an electric type. This is about as good as it's going to get. I love that you guys also told me what team you are on, and you guys were wondering what team I'm on. I'm actually Team Instinct. Now, when I was looking through them, I read the descriptions, and I also really liked the way it just explained everything about instinct. I think it's something that I've always gone with. I'm big on my instinct. I sort of just follow it. Whenever I feel like something is right, I just kind of go with it and it kind of fit in. So I was really happy with that description and I chose that team. You know, it's really awesome that all of you guys are also playing Pokemon Go. It's been a complete blast and I love being able to talk to you guys about it. I feel like it's really cool being able to talk to almost anyone about that game now because everybody's sitting there, you know, messing around with it. So I did love to hear about the teams you guys chose and the reason you guys chose them. And it was really cool to see what different team you guys are on. It's pretty much how everyone is. There's a bunch of red and there's a bunch of blues and there's a lack of yellows. But it's awesome that everybody has chose their own little team. So continuing on here, I was just thinking that was really cool because we also sort of started off colorful last time with our starters, with our first big four Pokemon, you could say. So let's go ahead and take down the Shroomish. Oh, we are just making some work happen as well. Oh yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and just probably 
go ahead and rush our way through all of this. I love the name Rush from Mega Man from the dog too. I think that's going to be very, very fitting on this Rush the Growlithe too. So thank you guys for that. That's a name that you guys gave me to add on to it. Another little story to put on Rush. Definitely a lot of fun. And with that, we defeated whoever this random trainer was. So we've made it to another route. Wonder what exactly there's going to be on this route. We did get a fishing rod. I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, let's go ahead and check what kind of fish they're going to be in the spot. You never know. What if I ended up finding something really strong? That's why it's always worth the go. Let's go ahead and check it out. You never know, guys. Let's just hope that we'll find something good in here. Let oh, there we go. We got ourselves a bite on the first try as well. Ooh, that is actually not that great for us. We already have our print flip, so I don't think we're really going to be needing a tentacle. I'm just going to go ahead and run away from this fight. I just don't want to get to the city. Let's get to the city. Let's get to the gym. Let's get our Pokemon into some action. Okay, I probably should pick up some repels as well. And probably pick up a Zigzagoon too. Something that I need to do. For some reason, whenever I run by a Zigzagoon, whenever I see one of these Pokemon around here, I always expect them to be a shiny. I don't know why, it just reminds me a lot of the one Zigzagoon that was a shiny that I bumped into. So every time that I see one, I'm just like, oh, and I just hope that it'll be a shiny, but you never know. Most of the time, you're just hoping, and it doesn't really show up. So it'll be nice if we could bump into one or two shinies. That would be quite the dream, but let's see. It looks like we have made it to, what is that? That looks like a really cool area that we definitely need to explore. But we've officially made it to the bee bug forest. Now, I don't even know if this is the area we're supposed to be at. But it looks really cool. It says a Celebi statue built to show that Celebi is a hero because he helped the humans protect the forest. Okay, well that does sound really, really good. We're going to have to go deeper into the forest then and hope that we find something here. I haven't really had the chance to... Do much exploring. I told you guys, this is the blind let's play. So I'm just going along with it just as you guys are. Let's hope that we'll be able to find someone here in the forest or something to help us. I just kind of chose a path and I thought this was going to be the right way. Hey, if you can use HM Surf, you can pass across this lake. Okay, so there is definitely going to be another path for us to take. Get it? Another, another path for us to take. There's going to be another path. With that, let's go ahead and keep the battle going. Also, I've been telling you guys that the past couple weeks, I've had people visiting me, friends visiting. It's been a lot of fun. I actually have my friend Chris visiting right now. He's a really good guy. He's just chilling here with everybody. He's friends with everybody I live with. So we've just been, you know, hanging out, just exploring, you know, doing our thing, showing him our Pokemon Go spots, showing him around the area and catching up. And I got to tell you guys, we were talking yesterday about the different types of friends that sometimes you have. Sometimes you have friends that you talk to every day. Sometimes you have friends that you can go a year without talking to. And I really started thinking about that. And it was like really, really cool that you can have those different relationships with people. You know, he's one of those people that you can just, you know, go a year without talking to. And then once you hang out with them again, it's just like being back in the same room five years ago. And that's how it feels. And I think it's really cool to have friends like that. So I really appreciated that he mentioned that to me. And it really got me thinking about everything. And how fast time flies as well. It feels like I was just young, you know, just younger just a couple years ago. And now time's flying by and, you know, it's three or four years later. And here you are. So you just got to make the most of it. That's something that I've been realizing too. You got to make the most of your time and just really... You know, if it's a sunny day out, go out and, you know, do something, walk around, have a little fun, just, you know, play your games, do whatever it's going to do that makes you have a good day. And that's something that I've definitely been doing lately. Let's see where this is going to lead us, though. I hope this is taking us somewhere, you know. If it comes down to it, I guarantee you this is something that we were probably going to have to do regardless. So we might as well take on these areas now. As I said, I don't really know which direction this game is going to take us. So we're just kind of going with it and hoping that it'll be the right way. I'm not too worried about it, though. A lot of the time, I feel like I guess correctly. So... Let's just hope that this will be one of those times. Let's keep on battling these guys, though. And so far, I've actually only been using Rush. So I'll have to switch in the other Pokemon. 
I'll have to get them in here, get them into some of the action. It's just really, really fun using a Growlithe. Although I know that it's going to take a really long time for us to evolve our Growlithe, it's a lot of fun just having one because I know how much potential there is and how strong this Pokemon can become. A Beautifly. Let's go ahead and send out Yellow. It'll be nice to put Yellow into a little bit of the action. So let's go ahead and get him in there. I like that Yellow also finally has an electric type move. I was really hoping that we would get another one, but it's just Spark now. So maybe we'll come up on an electric type gym soon. And that'll maybe, you know, give us something to work with. At least we can take down all these little birds running around, all these little Pidgeys, all these Pokemon. We'll be able to take down all that and the Beautifly. So at least we can use Yellow. And with that, guys, we're doing so far so good. We gained some XP. Very nice. Level 16. And this is something that I'm very, very excited for. So with that, guys, Yellow is evolving. There we have it. Yellow was actually trying to evolve at level 15, but I wanted to hold on so that I could show you guys the evolution. So with that, it looks like Yellow is going to go ahead and evolve into... We are going to find out what kind of Pokemon this is. So there we have it, guys. Awesome. Very, very cool. Congratulations. Our yellow evolved into Luxio. And with that, we've gone ahead and evolved one of our Pokemon. That is a start. That is how we have to be. Your Pokemon look tired. Oh, thank you so much. Whenever I find one of these ladies that heal up my Pokemon, you just have to take it. It says, these trees look strange. Combi may be in there. Ooh, if you know Cut, you can reach that tree. I do not know Cut yet, so that is probably something that we are going to have to learn as well. I'm going to keep going down here, though. We might as well battle all these people. Maybe we'll find Cut somewhere in this forest. That would be really, really great. Another thing that I realized that we'll have to take care of eventually is Team Magma running back to Small Town. They're still just chilling there near the forest entrance, so that's another, you know thing that we're gonna have to figure out on our own we're gonna have to see how to get in there and take them down so hopefully we'll figure that out too it's a lot of fun jumping into another adventure and not really knowing what's going on you're just kind of going with it and just exploring a whole new area of a game and you don't know what to do but i gotta tell you that's the most fun part about it to just jump into a game you know nothing about and to just learn about it little by little that's probably one of my favorite parts, and that's why I love playing so many different games. Because you get the thrill of it almost every time, and that is what I'm getting right now playing through here. I do wish I had picked up some repels, but regardless of that, at least we're getting the chance to see some of the cool Pokemon that are here. There are some really, really decent Pokemon. I think we got pretty much all the really good ones, the ones that are going to be really, really strong. Ooh, okay, there is definitely an item down there, so we want to get that item. By all means, we are getting items. And there we go, we got ourselves an X attack. And why does this big tree look so different than the other trees? I really do not know why that tree is so huge. So we're going to have to check that tree out. I really do wish we had cut for this, though. I don't know where exactly we were going to find it. So maybe we'll find it around here. I want to check out this big tree. What is this thing? Why is it so huge? This tree could have a Pokemon in it. Okay, I, I wish it did. I wish it did have some random Pokemon that we didn't know about. I wish something would just randomly pop out at us and we could just hope for the best and hope that we could handle it. I don't know if we'd be able to right now. We only have... I don't even know if we have that many Pokeballs, if I'm being honest with you guys. Oh, all right. Molga, let's go ahead and see what Rush can do here then. And you got to totally remember, we do have Mako, who is going to be an absolute beast against anyone. So we are just going to be taking on so many just crazy battles here with our Pokemon because we're going to be just being able to switch them up, switch them out. Everybody's just going to be able to get into the mix of it that it's going to be a little difficult to see who we choose. All right, I'm going to go ahead and send out Yellow now. Let's check out our evolved Pokemon. Ooh, there we have it. I love seeing Yellow. It just, it seems like such a just fun time for this Pokemon to get in here, to just evolve, to grow. Let me go for another Spark. 
Let's see if we can take down this little hoot hoot. Oh my goodness. We're getting all these unnecessary crit though. I'm telling you, these unnecessary crits are going to add up. Let's just cross our fingers that they won't show up anytime soon. You know, maybe later, maybe at the Elite Four. Let's just let's just hang in there for now. Let's just hope that we really won't need that too much. I'm gonna go right through here. I might as well collect all these items. This definitely does look like an area that needs some exploring so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do bug catcher james what do you have for me bug catcher james we actually are a lot stronger than some of these pokemon all right once rush reaches level 17 i'm gonna go ahead and put somebody else in here so that they don't go too overboard and there we go super effective very nice guys that is what i'm talking about and let's go ahead and continue on we're level 17 another caterpie we're going to go ahead and switch out to Mako, just so Mako can get a little bit of experience here. Might as well throw our starter into the mix, get them in there, just a couple battles. We're also almost level 17 on Mako as well, so that's a solid start for our Pokemon. I really did do a lot of training, I gotta tell you. I didn't realize how much training was going to be needed or how much I was going to end up doing. I kind of just went for it, and they ended up coming out at this level. And uh, this is pretty good. With that, Mako is 17. So we're doing really, really great. Let's keep exploring through this place, though. If anything, this is just really, really good XP. And if you can go ahead and find yourselves a couple items, that's also really solid as well. You guys always ask me where I train, and this is the type of places where you should be training. Places where you can explore and look around. And with that, it looks like we have made it to Root D. Okay, so Root D. Definitely something for us to do here, I believe. And uh, we're going to have another battle. He's like, you don't know who I am? No, we're just running around and exploring. This is what it's all about. Just, you know, exploring the adventure, dude. Oh, he's going to send out a Beautifly. I love seeing all these different types of Pokemon, too. It's so great that these Pokemon hacks have all these different Pokemon. That you can just use Pokemon from your childhood all the way through Gen 4. All these little moments, all this nostalgia. It just really adds up. Let's see, another... Ooh, a Dustox. Okay, I said I was going to switch out Rush. I'll actually switch out Rush after this one. I'm just going to go ahead and take down the Dustox. I told you guys that Fire types are my favorite. Fire types, Electric types, those are just really strong types that I like. So I always use them a lot. That's why I always love having them on my team. And I probably use them a little more than the other Pokemon, but it's just a lot more fun for me. With that... We took down the little bug catcher guy. Very cool. Let's go ahead and we can put Toad up in front. I haven't really used Toad a whole lot, but it's not like it would have done that much inside of the forest. Uh, I can't get myself that Pokeball yet. Ooh, what is this? Pretty petal flower shop. Maybe we'll find something good inside of the flower shop. You never know. Sometimes, I gotta tell you, I like to just go inside of a flower shop and just smell the roses. You gotta smell the flowers. You gotta run around. Sometimes you just gotta, you know, dive in there and look at the pretty flowers. I think it's it's very cool to do once in a while. I think last time I did it was when I was near the zoo. There was just this beautiful open garden area. And I was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and check out the pretty flowers. Because you never know what you can find. Yeah, let's go ahead and learn about berries. You never know. She might actually give us something great if we listen to her. Which would be, by all means, cool. No, 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 no. alright, that's it? That That's all she had to say? Okay, let's talk to the other two ladies here. The more attention you get flowers, are you guys... Ooh, the Whalmer Pale. There we go, see? I knew we could get something out of them. We got ourselves the Whalmer Pale. Very cool. Let's, let's talk to this one. My big sisters, here you go. We obtained the Cherry Berry. So there we go. Those are two items that will probably come in handy eventually. I'm sure we'll use them. Let's go ahead and get out of here then. I also saw that there was a city nearby. So we can go ahead and make our way inside the city. With that, guys, it looks like we are going to have arrived in. Let's go ahead and check this place out. It looks like we have made it to... Help! Are you a trainer? Our center is being disturbed by Team Magma. My gym leader is in here. I need your help to throw them out. Okay, so let's go ahead and help them out. We're definitely going to help them out. If Team Magma is in the way, what else can I tell you guys? We're going to have to help them. 
and that is what we will have to do next time guys it looks like we have made it to a new town a brand new area to explore this is plate pick city the city probing the integration of nature and science and it does look like there are a couple of team magma people running around here where exactly are they i was just gonna go ahead and check them out but they're, i'm sure they're taking over the city somewhere i'm just trying to find the pokemon center and heal up my pokemon that's all you gotta do once in a while is just heal up your pokemon who knows where they are i'm sure they've took over all this let me go ahead and see they have to be somewhere around this place right pokemon trainer school well guys i'm gonna go ahead and figure this out so we can continue from here next time it looks like there are a couple grunts so i don't know what the boss is thinking being on team mad i know i'll get things the chance to do big things so with that it looks like we will continue from here next time because oh finally found the pokemon center and we're gonna go ahead and take on the team magma grunts and see what else we can find so once again thank you guys for your tips and your comments make sure you guys go ahead and give this video a big like thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next episode goodbye